Has everybody heard the adage that 80% of Australians don't get advice, right? We've all heard that knocked around. If you look under the bonnet, actually, it's a bit more interesting than that. Uh, this is taken from an investment trends report uh, in 2017 of uh, around 10,000 adults. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit more complicated. There are 2.4 million out there in 2015 who used a planner. That's 13.3% of eligible Australians who actually use advice. There are 1.1 million of them who had an intention to use, which is 6.1%. Then you've got 4.3, which is around about 24%, who they're going to do it themselves, for good or for bad. And then finally, we've got 10.2, which is 56.7%, who have made the decision that they are, they're going to bury their heads in the sand and do nothing about it, which is kind of depressing, right? So uh, Peter's point is, we're making the assumption that we actually want to deal with everybody. Yeah, so some people see this as, a, as the way it should be. You know, There are certain types of people who need advice and certain types of people who don't. And there's other people who kind of see it as an opportunity. Yeah? Um, personally, my view is there, there is, and we'll talk about this a bit later, we've got a real problem with uh, financial management in this country or in the world. A lot of people need some help. They don't have the ability to do it. And sure, at the moment, there is a certain portion of the market that we are working with and a certain portion that we just can't. So I guess I'm less like, depending on where you're at, you might go, you know what, I'm really happy dealing with that part of the market. But I can guarantee you that RoboAdvice and other people are looking at it going, there's a bigger market here. For me, it's actually, I'm less interested in why the 80% 80, uh, 80 want, but I, I, I'm really interested in what's going on within the 20. And uh, there's some more data here to talk about that. In 2000, actually this year I went up to the Blue Mountains to be part of the Licensee Summit, and I saw Andrew Inwood. Has anyone seen Andrew Inwood from Core Data? Really interesting dude. He's like a cross between an encyclopedia, uh, encyclopedic knowledge with uh, the dryness of an Australian comedian. He's brilliant. But he, he put in front uh, a whole bunch of data around licensees. But he put up this stuff around what's happening in that sort of 20%. And the really interesting thing is across the clients they had a look at, which I think there are about 300 clients they had a look at, 22% of those who, and these are the people who'd gone and engaged with advice, 22% of them had intended to proceed to use a planner for advice, as in they'd been through the engagement process and they decided that advice was for them. Does that make sense? 21% had kind of gone through a first appointment and they were intending to go to a second appointment. So that's 43% of people who are in the engagement process of that 1.1 you know, mil who are thinking, right, I'm going to engage with advisors. But underneath that, 24% had met, had a first appointment and were undecided. 33% had had a first appointment and were just not going anywhere. So the, what's really interesting from that perspective is you've got the vast majority, 75% plus, who are not just not even thinking of using advice. And then when you actually look under the bonnet and you have a look at the, you know, the 6.1 who are either intending, over 50% of them are in the engagement process and making a decision that it's not for them. You see what I mean? There's two problems going on here for me. Um, well, three actually. The first one is the vast majority of people aren't interested in advice, right? This is your point. For right or for wrong, they're just like, it's not for me. Or they're not interested until they suddenly realize that they've got a serious problem uh, and they need to do something about it, which is, I think, a problem in itself because compounding being compounding, if you can help people earlier on, you have an impact. But there's two additional problems. The first one's a marketing problem and we keep talking about it as being an education problem. Yeah? It's not. It's a marketing problem. They're sort of looking at it and going... It's not for me, I'm not interested. And we're trying to hit them with financial literacy, which I think is not the right answer. The other is an engagement problem, which is shown by this. So these are two of the reasons that I want to work on this today and really try and move towards solving some of these problems. Does that make sense? 